Hi, this is Scott from the Drone Centre. I'm here today to present to you another video with my colleague Niveth. So the first of the DJI hybrid sensors is gaining traction amongst professionals in this region and also throughout the world. We're going to today talk about the H20M, the first night vision payload and very capable sensor. We're also going to talk about the H20T, which I consider and we consider as the workhorse of the DJI Matrice series. Now, even though these payloads are meant for specific industrial needs, you have a natural tendency to compare them. Which one's more accurate? Which one is better? Or the natural question, which one should I buy? So today we're going to help you out. We're going to discuss the similarities, also the differences, which one is going to suit your end use and your need. So let's get the fundamentals right. H in the H20 series represents its hybrid nature and the 20 stands for its 20 times optical zoom. When it comes to the underscore payloads in the series, the T in H20 stands for thermal and the N in H20N stands for night vision. Okay, so let's make a quick comparison. Both the DJI Zenmuse H20N and H20T are multi-sensor payloads. The H20N has dual thermal cameras, zoom and wide sensors, and a laser rangefinder. Whereas the H20T has a single thermal sensor, wide and zoom cameras, and a laser rangefinder. So, for example, with both payloads, you can preset temperature values, and in case if the object temperature exceeds your preset values, you'll receive instant notifications in the DJI Pilot app. Likewise, you can alter the colours applied to the thermal data. You can visualise a specific band of temperatures and more. However, please be informed that the H20N thermal camera is not built to collect precise thermal readings. H20N is specifically targeted for night missions. The H20N has a very large pixel size. Now, this enhances its nighttime performance, but it comes at a cost of pixel count. Compared to the H20T, the H20N's overall pixel count is fewer. So the H20T zoom camera is 20 megapixel and can optically zoom up to 23 times and 200 times digitally. Compare this to the H20N's 4 megapixel zoom camera, which lets you zoom in about 20 times optically and 128 times digitally. Furthermore, the H20T has a 12 megapixel wide camera. This is 10 megapixels over that on the H20N. So clearly the H20T provides a higher resolution and this makes it ideal for daylight operations and inspection missions. So now let's talk about the headline innovations of the H20N and the H20T. The H20N has starlight sensors equipped with its zoom and wide angle cameras. Starlight cameras slow down the camera's electronic shutter speed to capture more light to record in colour. So clearly a starlight sensor makes the H20N the best option for low light scenarios. It even allows operators to identify light sources as low as 0.0001 lux. That's far beyond what the human eye can see. Apart from this, the H20N has the synchronized split screen zoom feature. This feature lets operators simultaneously sync the zoom between thermal and starlight night vision cameras. As a result, users can scale both images simultaneously and this allows us to compare details side by side during missions. On the other hand, the H20T has an AI spot check feature which enables us to automate periodic inspections and capture results consistently. The onboard AI detects pre-marked subjects even in subsequent and automated missions. Now suppose you want to reinspect a specific area, the camera automatically frames the shot based on the previously marked subject. Now this makes the H20T ideal for daylight inspections and missions. Now let's glimpse through some of the major standard features in the H20N and the H20T. Let's talk about the high res grid photo feature. This enables you to frame an area of interest in the wide camera view. And the zoom camera will auto capture a set of 20 megapixel high quality images of the frame targeted area. Further, these images are stitched together into a single image with greater detail. Pinpoint is another brilliant feature common to both the payloads. 
A quick tap on the screen marks the object in view and delivers its GPS coordinates to ground teams and other operators. The data also includes the relative height of the object. So whether you're tracking moving objects or just marking an area for further inspection, you'll appreciate having this feature. Next, we have the Smart Track feature. With this, users can detect and track moving objects as it automatically frames the shot based on the pre-marked subject while simultaneously syncing the dynamic location of the subject. And it also includes an auto zoom function while constantly tracking your moving target. Coming to the durability and endurance, both the DJI H20T and H20M are IP44 rated and can be seamlessly integrated with the IP45 rated DJI Matrice 300 series. This will also give you an impressive flight type um, with the ability to operate in harsh conditions. Coming back to one of our initial questions, which one should you buy? Well, that depends on what your specific requirements are. Exactly. For instance, the starlight sensors coupled with the dual thermal cameras make the H20M the best for low light missions. On the other hand, the H20T shines in the light of day and is better suited for inspection missions during daylight because of its higher quality visual sensors. Do you think we've answered all your questions? If not, drop them down in the comments and we'll get to them. We'd also love to hear from you and what interests you. If you have any specific topic you'd like to cover, we're all ears. Please consider subscribing for more insightful content and we look forward to seeing you the next time.